All right, so I started off with spray painting this cardboard tube so I can let it dry while I got everything else ready. I got these from the beauty supply store and they were about $3.99 each. I was going to use all three packs but I just decided to use the two light brown ones. Since the hair came braided, it left creases. So what I just did was lay the hair flat, put hairspray and then put books on top of it and left it like that for a couple of hours. Here I cut off the sections that I pretty much didn't add hairspray to. Next I grabbed each bundle of hair, put it in half and tied it up. Having both bundles ready, I just tie them up to make them into one. I next tied up the other end just so it can be easier to handle. I have my tube nice and dry and now I just added as much glue as possible. Grab my glue gun again and just added more glue to the edges just to make sure it was secure and tight. For the metal part of the brush, I used foil and I actually used the not so shiny side of it. Just make sure when you fold it, the edges are nice and flat. I printed and cut out the MAC logo and I did use a little bit of Mod Podge just to stick the logo on there so I could trace it out.
to paint the letters, I used the Santi Diamond Eyeliner in Silver. This too I got from the beauty supply store and it was about $2. Using my trusty Aquanet, I literally bathed the brush in it, shaped the hairs, and left it drying upside down overnight. So this is what the brush should look like the next day. I then started cutting the hairs at an angle, and that was just to give it that blending brush look. I'm no hairstylist. It's not perfect, but I did try my best. But if you do want a haircut, do not call me because I will leave you toda trasquilada. <laughs> Okay guys, so that does it for my first DIY video. I wanted to do this giant makeup brush to display it in my makeup room. I hope you guys liked it. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you next time. 